Hi everyone, welcome to the Hidden Goods edition of The Cook-Off. Now the love for good food is something that is universal to everyone. And here in multicultural Singapore, we are so lucky to have a wide range of mouth-watering dishes from a whole variety of cultures. But just how well can food bring people living in Singapore together? Well, that's what we're here today to find out. And to join us, we've invited a few friends to help us out. Let's see what happens. And here we have with us Wai Leong, the winner of the first MasterChef Asia, who will be helping our participants out today. Thanks so much for joining us, Wai Leong. Pleasure is all mine. So, the idea of today's challenge, um, all the participants will have about 45 minutes to cook one dish. That one dish has to tell a few stories. Um, it has to speak a little bit of where they've come from, you know, whether it's India, Thailand, you know, Singapore, and also tell a bit of the story of their time in Singapore. And as if that wasn't hard enough, they need to cook with a set basket of ingredients and include at least one ingredient, which is eggs. I've been in Singapore since December 2012. The original recipe of what I was supposed to prepare today uh, was actually a Spam or luncheon meat stir-fried, but I had to use chicken instead. That is how I came up with this idea of sliced chicken with a sunny side up and dry instant noodle. I've been here in Singapore for probably eight years. I want to showcase the Filipino dish. And it is um, also my way of sharing what uh, our culture is um, through food. Chicken adobo. I'm from Northern India. So I'm trying to make it a little bit spicy, but not very hot. Mm -hmm. That's, That's good, because people, Singaporeans like me, can't eat very spicy food. Oh yeah, so. true, very true. That's very true. <laughs> Thank you for making it less spicy. Oh yeah. <laughs> What are you making, Tyler? I am making something from Thailand that a lot of people know. It's called Kai Jiao. What is that? It's like Thai omelette. I also incorporated the potatoes in um, because it seemed good for the dish as well because there weren't that many carbohydrates. Now that I think about it, Singapore is kind of very welcoming to a lot of different cultures, so I just thought like maybe I should put them together and see what happens. It seemed like it was good. How does this represent Singapore for you, Boon? Because there was this one time, right, uh -huh. and I ran away from home, and then I didn't have anything to eat. Then I just walked up to the nearest zi cha and told the auntie that I have no money, and I ran away from home. And then the auntie just cooked like this zi cha and, and omelette. Sometimes life just throws you a curveball, and you face unexpected challenges, like when the train's delayed in the morning, yeah. or you know, when you miss your bus or your breakfast that morning, and so... We're going to be um, taking away one of the knives. When all the kitchen utensils were started to uh, be taken out, uh, I just realized I need to be resourceful. I seek uh, my Singapore spirit friend's help uh, to Borrow, borrow his pan and uh, you know do up the sunny side up. So he was very very kind enough to give up his pan. Uh, you know he, I think he uh, towards the end he rushed rushed his own dish. I'm supposed to help her with the sunny side up. Oh, you're supposed to help her. Yeah, so helpful. Yeah, of course. I think that one thing that I've learned from this experience to be uh, more engaging as one community, as not one person doing something. Nine, eight, seven. Alright guys, that was a very, very intense cook. Uh, I saw lots of cooperation, lots of sharing, I saw lots of open fires. And you know, there was calm operating under fire and under pressure. So that was great. And some really impressive dishes, all from the humble egg. But that's not all. We have a surprise for all of you. Yeah, so we've actually invited some surprise judges today. They're your friends, some strangers, and they're going to be coming here and tasting your food. I think everyone brought their different flavours to the table today and uh, it came together really well. I feel very touched when they changed the recipe according to the Singapore taste. For example, they toned down, some of them toned down the spiciness levels and some of them changed their meat from pork to chicken, which I felt was uh, is good so that everyone can eat. Singapore is a melting pot of different culture. This is in fact a great opportunity for us to learn different culture because there are many people here. Everybody come here to work as tourists. So I think it's a, this is the best place to engage. Mm -hmm. 